Your Excellency, we are so glad to have you at Yalla Koda. Such a great honor. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. I'm really, really happy and proud because of the Norwegian Football Federation choosing uh, Egypt and Middle East for encouraging girls to practice football. Can you elaborate what is the GFCC, the Girl Football uh, Coaching Course, please? Yes, sure. Um, no, for us, it's, it's extremely important to, to promote the rights of women and girls everywhere, including in Norway. Uh, when I was young, there were hardly any girls playing football, uh, and that has changed um, a lot over the past decades. And uh, to see uh, this also happening here in the region and in Egypt, I think is ex it's so exciting. Um, for me, I see sports and the, um, you know, engaging girls in this way uh, as a very important and powerful tool to empower girls. So I think this uh, program started in 2015. Um, and the ongoing program from 2024 until 2022 to 2024, um, by then we will have trained uh, almost 100 women coaches uh, and uh, it's a way to encourage and, and uh, make it possible to, to recruit more girls to play football. So girls from the age of, um, I think, 6 to 12, uh, across all the governorates in Egypt, are part of this program. Uh, there are several festivals where they play, and um, it's, uh, it's been a real success. Yeah, I can see this, and yeah. I'm so happy that you're encouraging females doing this. Uh, the training course is based on the principle of football is for all. In your opinion, when we will see the attraction to women football, the same as the men football having now? I think we will. It's it's moving quite fast now, um, because you see that the several countries, uh, not just Norway, but I think in many countries in the world, um, there's a new interest uh, and investment in girls' and women's football. Yeah. And once you have that, um, the interest will come because you will see the, the talent is there, of course. Uh, and it's, it's entertaining to watch. And when, you have the, and when these talents are able to grow and to show what they're good for, um, people will be interested. And uh, you'll have the same stars as you have uh, with the men. So I think uh, hopefully soon. So you're expecting to be soon because it's, as you said, it's moving fast and girls are doing great. Once they got their chance now, they are doing great. I think we will see it soon. There are some very exciting uh, women football playing stars out there uh, and there are being good role models, just not for girls, but I think for every young person, whether you're a boy or a girl. Um, I think what's really important is, is the joy and the talent uh, and the engagement of playing football. It's a universal thing. And uh, you have right to do whatever you want to do, so girls are now having the right to practice football. Of course. <laughs> There's no difference between boys and girls, really. Yeah. They should have the same rights. They should have the same opportunity to, to develop themselves, to, to empower themselves, and to just have fun and enjoy the sports. Why did the Norwegian Football Association chose Middle East and uh, North uh, of uh, Africa to, for such a training courses? Well, I think uh, at least for, for Egypt's part, it, it's, it's the strong position that football has in this country. It's such a, it's such a strong tradition and also um, a very positive and good cooperation with the Egyptian Football Association. So, so the cooperation between the two associations is also very positive. Um, and uh, you need that type of cooperation. Uh, we can't just come to a country and do this without, without that very good uh, cooperation. So, um, and also... Uh, Football has plays a very important part in the Egyptian culture, so I think it's it's uh, makes it easier uh, as a starting point. Yeah, that was kind of encouraging uh, to do such uh, courses. These courses were held in Egypt before, and um, I think it was a great success. A lot of girls enjoyed it so much. What were the uh, results achieved, and was it practically uh, done on the ground? Um, so there's been uh, several training uh, sessions uh, per year since 2015 um, and they're training new women coaches and also following up the ones that have been trained before so they can, you know, uh, keep up spreading that uh, knowledge that they have. 
Um, it's all across Egypt. Uh, it's not just in Cairo or the big cities, uh, but it's uh, north and south and, and, and in many different uh, villages and cities, which is also very positive, I think. Uh, we also um, you know, distribute equipment um, and the necessary, the things that the girls and the trainers need uh, for, the, for the training and for the playing. And then there are several festivals or tournaments um, that bring all these girls together so they can play and, and have matches. Holland is rocking with Man Manchester City, and now uh, last season he was top scorer for the Premier League. Uh, football now is not just a sport, it's kind of industry, marketing. How do you see uh, a player like Holland is promoting for the state of Norway? Well, uh, I've been going to the smallest villages and in many uh, areas in Egypt, and when they hear, hear that I'm from uh, Norweg, you know, that's Holland, Holland, you know, <laughs> everybody knows him. Yeah. Uh, and he's such a star. Uh, it's a very good ambassador for Norway, I think. A uh, very sympathetic young man as well, and he's so young. Uh, so I see pictures all over uh, Cairo now of him as well. So he's, um, he's, a, big, uh, he's a big star, uh, and uh, it's, it's very fun to follow him. And, and I, I also like the way that he's very reflected. Uh, he's very sympathetic, like much like your star here, oh. Mosala. You know, <laughs> he too is a very sympathetic uh, role model for yes. everyone. So, talking about Holland, do you see a lot of fans here in Egypt uh, of Holland? He's very popular here as well. And um, at one of the festivals that uh, the association um, organized, uh, there was a little girl, maybe six years old who um, had asked her father to get a Holland uh, shirt. <laughs> and uh, so she was playing with a very oversized uh, blue oh, okay. Holland shirt, very proud of her, uh, her little outfit. Yeah. So I think, yeah, there's, uh, there's uh, fans all over yeah. Egypt for Holland as well. <laughs> yes, yeah, having uh, fans, girls and young and uh, men and women, every, everyone loves Holland here, yes. This is football role now, is doing like, uh, talking the same language, uh, uh, doing everything uh, the same. Uh, yes, I think it's 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 a global it's a global language, isn't it? And it's bringing everyone together, um, and you know, girls should be a part of that too. Yeah, hopefully. And thank you for doing this. <laughs> What's your favorite Egyptian food? Um, I would have to say it's the mangoes. Uh, <laughs> whenever mango season, uh, no, that's that's definitely yeah. uh, my favorite. What about kosheri, tamaya, full the stuff or? Tamea, Egyptian Tamea is really, I love it. That is, yeah. that is I think, my, my number two favorite. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Your Excellency, for having us today. It's such a great honor. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. My pleasure.